gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you know my next guest tonight from X-Men First Class, Mad Max Fury Road, and HBO's Big Little Lies. What? Are you all right? Do you care? Do I care? What's going on? I killed someone. Remember? Yes. That's I... heavy. Are, are you... I mean, are you angry at me for some reason? I'm angry with myself. Please welcome Zoe Kravitz. <laughs> Nice to have you on. Nice to be here. Last night we had on uh, your co-star from uh, Big Little Lies, uh, Adam. Adam Scott, yeah. was on last night. He's a cool dude. Yeah, he is a cool dude. Yeah. No beard this year. I know, what a bummer. Yeah. Disappointment. Yeah. We couldn't give you everything. No. We gave you Meryl, we couldn't give you the beard. Well, that's what he was talking about, <laughs> is that he said that your new playmate on the set, Meryl Streep, is that he's so incredibly intimidated to, like, go say hi to her. Do you have a similar? Because I've had that reaction talking to her at times. Do, do you have any of that reaction? Yeah, a little bit. It's it's strange being able to go up to Meryl Streep and, and say hello. I have a real, I'm having an issue with um, calling her Meryl. Oh, sure, sure. Like, I you just, respect her so much. Yeah, I just feel like I'm just a, I feel like a douchebag. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I was talking, I was talking to Meryl, and um, it just feels, it feels not right. <laughs> it feels not right, but you we can't call her Meryl Streep. We don't have it in the United States, but it feels like it should be like Dame Streep or something uh, exa like that. Exactly. She should which, have some kind of title. But she doesn't carry herself that way, which is why she's Meryl. Meryl Streep, you know? exactly. No, no, she's the nicest person to talk to. So approachable, actually. Yeah, yeah. we're really good friends. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Well, uh, I understand that uh, we learned a lot more about your character this year. Is there anything that you can share with us? Because as we saw in the clip, she has, she's got a lot to deal with this year because I'm sure she didn't mean to. Thank you. I'm sure she did not mean to, but you... you he slipped. You he killed slipped. Alexander Skarsgård. He slipped. Sure. <laughs> he slipped and a piece of rebar went through his chest. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so what can, can you tell us anything about what we learned? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's really great the way it worked out because we were only supposed to do one season, um, and there was a lot more about Bonnie in the book that we weren't able to incorporate into the series because we wanted to make sure the end was as surprising as possible. Sure. Um, but I'm really happy it worked out this way because this, this time we get to explore Bonnie's past. My mother comes into town. We get to learn more about my family and, and why she might have done what she didn't do on purpose at the end of the show. Well, well speak, speaking of moms, you, you shouldn't be that, you know, starstruck around famous people. A, you're famous yourself, but B, you know, your, your parents are Lenny Kravitz and Lisa Bonet, which of course you know, I'm telling them, but... They are? <laughs> what? They, what? <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> and... <laughs> do you... Uh, you look a lot like your mom. Thank you. You look like your mom. That's yes, it, it is a compliment, actually. And you actually took it even further. Um, uh, you sat for the artist uh, uh, Matthew Ralston. Matthew Ralston did hers. She did hers. The original. Okay, so this is so I... this is the photograph that your mother did for Rolling Stone. Yes. And How I long? and she's pregnant with me. She's a, like a few months pregnant with me. Oh yeah, she really looks it. I know. She really. <laughs> there she is right there. And you just. Recreated it. I did. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Thanks, guys. Did your mom? Did your mom know you were going to do this? She did, but I think when she saw it, it was a, it was different. It was, it's so cool to see side by side. That's extraordinary. I know. That's extraordinary. It was great to play, to pay homage to her. Do you, do you uh, take after your dad in any ways? Do you like, do you, are you a, a musician? Are you? I sing a little bit. I don't, um, I don't play an instrument. I, I always say that was my, my one act of rebellion. <laughs> was not, not to be a musician. <laughs> not to learn, not to learn an instrument. Um, you're also, you're also um, currently working, let me get this right, you're as, as star and executive producer, of a, a new series, a remounting, if you will, yes. of High Fidelity. Yes. Now, it's, there was, it was a, a book mm -hmm. by Nick Hornby and then yep. a movie of 2000. That my mom was also in. Oh, I forgot that. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
I know, I'm like, get my own, I need to get my own thing. No, but you do. <laughs> well, you do, because it's, it's, it's reverse casting, isn't it? It's yeah. all... Yeah, so John Cusack played the lead in the film, and I'm playing that role now. Mm -hmm. a, a big part of that film was, or a recurring thing in that film, is that he's making mixtapes mm -hmm. for women mm -hmm. that he's interested in. Mm -hmm. That's kind of, it's not like a come on exactly, but it's a way to get intimate with it's them a move. very quick. It's a move. It's a move. What's the, mi the mixtape now? Um, we call them playlists. Oh. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Well, you... All right, bye, guys. How old do you think I am? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Big Little Lies returns Sunday on HBO. Zoe Kravitz, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by Louis Capaldi.